You know, there's one thing that's been going viral since the weekend, and I picked it up from Rose Kagori's wall on now your timeline on Facebook. It was a video taken of a maid mistreating a toddler. Is this child living a year and a half? And she's slapping him up and down. She's punching him. And there was a lot of outrage, and especially from mothers. Actually, <laughs> Rose said, I'm dying inside, and I can literally kill this lady with my bare hands. May God deal with her first. These maids, let's talk about house helps who abuse children. If this was your house help, what's going through your mind right now? Who did you leave your child with this morning if you've got a toddler as you went off to work? Someone said, Mina, please ask, the question you should be asking is, what turns these maids into the monsters they can become and the monsters that some of them become? That's What are you saying is the cause? The way they treat them. Who treats them? The, 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 our wives. The way they treat the maid? Yes. They are called house managers. House managers, yes. So, when you're not there, Aki, that is so, so ask true. Ask them, ask them, ask them, the last two, three years, how many house girls were making now? There are those who've stayed with one house girl for the last seven, ten years. Yes. And they've seen what they But there are ladies who can live with house girls. not like a human being. Huyo mtoto atakuwa dealt with accordingly. Okay. And because you have to work. Yeah, you must go to work. Yes. And you can't carry your baby to the office. Yes. I'd like to hear from three people this morning. Number one, if you're a house manager, mm. I want you to call me and let me know how madam treats you in the house. Mm. And if you... I know it's a crazy thing to say. Do you understand where this maid is coming from if you're a house manager? Ask Madame how many house girls they yes, had. Yes, that's for, a, that's. A, um, I said I'm going to talk to three. Can you hold on? Yes. Number one, house managers. I want to talk to you. What goes on? Number two, ladies. How do you treat your maids? And I want you to be honest. If they are bad people, then we let's talk about them and where you mistreat them, mm. because a lot of house managers are mistreated. Fact. Number three, guys, how do you see your wife treating your house manager? Do you worry that the person who could pay the penalty for that maltreatment or is it mistreatment could be your own child or children? So I don't know this morning. What did you mean to ask them? How, in the last two years, I'm a corner house girl. Okay, and ladies, in the last two years, how many house managers have you had? House girls, who are now white house girls. Oh, they call them house girls. Yes, they don't respect, they respect them. Let me just go to your tweets. And don't come out saying people are installing hidden surveillance cameras nowadays because hiring some of these girls is due to circumstances. Joseph Wataka, I got your tweets and those maids vent their anger on the kids because they're given too much work which is not equal to their pay. Nyeri Scout Ambassador saying it's true. The wife treats maids like an outcast. I've got experiences uh, that uh, will give me lifetime moments. Wow. I'd love to hear those. Why don't you give me a call? Rick Stylus is saying I support Mwalimu 100%. House helps act rude to your kids if you act rude to them. That is a fact. UT Mavenge is saying when your wife mistreats a house help, you can do nothing about it lest she accuses you of an affair with her. Okay, UT, that makes sense. But my question is, you know that when your wife mistreats your house help, chances are she'll vent that anger on your kids. So it directly affects you. Why don't you say something? At it's my neck again, your at classic 105 Kenya hashtag minor and kingangi. Keep those tweets coming through to Fadali. My short code is double two four nine four. Let's go to the lines. Hello, hi, minor. Morning, morning to how are you? I'm fine. Let me tell you something. Yeah, 
Hao madamu wetu acha nikwambie. Unajua kuna hakuna hapa mbaya. Eh. Ile kitu iko. Mm. Ni hao wanawake. Eh, you're a house manager. Yeah, I was a house manager before I got married. Eh. Uh-huh. So ni pitia na kwambia hao wanawake unajua sisi kama wanaonanga kama mabwana zao watatupenda. Eh. Uh-huh kama ni vipi na kwambia hiyo hiyo nyumba nilipitia kama shetani alikuwa nafanyaji alikuwa yani kila kitu hata kama ni kukula unakulia bedroom haya kama ni kuoga eh uende ukiwa na, una nguo zako kwa bafu uoge na uvalie huko huko haya eh alafu yani kukula yani mpaka mwanzo wapakulie wakule utakula mwisho mwisho baada ya wao kumaliza kabisa haya na kwambia ni mateso yani mwana yani msichana wa kazi eh hakuwazi na roho baya sasa huyo mwanamke ndiye anafanyaa sasa huyu msichana wa kazi awe na roho baya na akiwa na kidwa unashindwa kwa nini huyu anakufanyia hivyo yani unajua sasa pale eh hawaonaki kama wewe ni mtu kama wao ii sasa unajua hata kuna wakati huyo wabwanake siku mwaja alimuuliza kwa nini uwa unatiriti huyu msichana hivyo ee eh. ule mwana ni kama alikuwa amepitia shida haka mwabia mimi istakaki competition sasa ya anaona kama unaenda kufanya competition kwa si ee eh. so haka mwabia ni ee uh, wakibadilisha hawa wasichana wakiwatiriti vibaya Ah. Hao wasichana sasa wakatole, wanatolea hiyo hasira yote kwa watoto. Ah, wanatolea hasira zote kwa watoto lakini mimi sioni hiyo kama ni issue ya kufanya kufa, kunini kupelekea watoto hiyo nini hasira na eh si si mtoto amekukosea. Lakini wengi ufanya hivyo. Eh wengi ufanya hivyo wengi hata huwa hasira zao wanatoa kwa watoto hata unapata wanatiti hiyo mtoto vibaya sana okay ya unasikia hata un, un, mtu amekuachia mtoto mtoto unapata hata ame ame, ame yani ame mfanya kitendo kibaya yani ni zile hasira huyo huyo msichana ameweka ii eh. baka sasa anashidwa sasa ame, anashidwa kufimilia sasa anaona afanya kitendo tu na ondoke okay ya yeah, ni kwa hata anaitwa matusi wa baba huko anatusi wa yani inajiuliza kwa ni mimi si mtu okay Ah, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. Okay, where would you do that, girls? That is a question. Where would you do that? Listen to that domestic manager. Because there is obviously a cause for this maid doing this to the kids. Do you realize you're playing a part, girls, in this? What is turning them into monsters? Let me just go back to your tweets. James Barger is saying there's, there's no shortcut. Treat your eye right and things will go well. Nelvis Musalia, you're saying you don't expect to treat someone else's child like a slave and expect them to treat yours like a king. Amen. Aida, you're saying where you work, you're limited to small work. Four to seven K and you eat, drink and sleep at my expense and no taxes. Is that a reason to? Aida. Is that a reason to? You eat, drink and sleep at my expenses. You don't pay taxes. Joseph Kamata. You're saying men hate it. I asked my wife to stop scolding the house manager. Immediately she fired her. <laughs> ah, kiao. <laughs> Do you know... Mm. It's only the house guards who know ile pressure na kuwaka kwa yonyuma. So house guard na mzee wana kuwaka kwa kona moja. Blue corner. On the red corner. Ina kuwaka mama na watoto. <laughs> we need a series on that. <laughs> All right. Belinda! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you start again. Socks is up. At It's Mine. I can get your art classic 105 Kenya. <laughs> Hashtag minor anking and uh, keep those tweets uh, coming through. Hello. Hello, minor. Hello, good morning. Vero here. Yes. What I'm going to minor. Once I was a house guy. Yeah. I was going to say, 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 I was going to say,
sometimes tunakumbuka mpaka mimi mwenyewe nabia matovu na shindo kwa nini mwanamke alikuwa ananiona aje wacha nikwambie yeah i stayed in that house for seven months seven months yeah maina si kuwai kula chakula fresh what do you mean na nini na napika ulikuwa nakula nini every time i have kukula za jana za jana za jana maina unaona hii kombe ya kauru sorry hii kikombe ya kauru si si kuwa ikunwa chaye ni nyega kwa hiyo kikombe na si chaye ya skari ati na si nge kunye chaye ya skari kwa hiyo nyumba what do you mean Ata, na pika chai skari iko bedroom kwake so mimi anakuja ananiekea chai kikombe mwusu ananiekea kazi ujoka nyerena kwa uliko na get yeah on top of that that woman was pregnant by that time na alikuwa na mtoto mmoja alikuwa kadogo hivi nile kakuta katiwa na like two years hivi yeah mwenye wacha nikuambia ultron nilikuwa na amka asubui nilikuwa na amka so unaimagi ni mwuo za mtoto wa two years na ambiwa nipige pasi mpaka pampia uo mtoto nipige pasi mpaka ata mwumi zangu ata mwumi zangu mwenye sipigagi pasi yakini hizo mwuo zipigwe pasi ati uh, mpaka panti ya mtoto mpaka panti ya mtoto kwa teso watu ni kwambia uu hama akashikwa na reba kwambe sorry akashikwa na reba pin ee eh. akaita mama rafiki yake kambereka hospitali ee eh. that woman was a housewife but buwana yake yalikuwa nafanya na kenya kenya world drive ee eh. sasa buwana yake haa kukua ee eh ata mama jirani akambereka hospitali mm. akaemba akaragwa hosi akapata mtoto Aras then akakuwa mgonjwa yeye mwenyewe akiwa hospitali so what happened could be charge mtoto yeye mama akabaki hofu si nikaitwa sister yake ya huyu mama eh akakuja tukaanza kuishi na yeye ndio tunatunga huyu mtoto newborn alafu mama akiwa hospitali eh si sister yake akatumia pads za huyu mama za sister yake sasa eh wacha nikwambie maana na at that time oi maana hata siko na jomo ngiri period ni kusema ni I was young. Wakati mama alitoka hospitali. Mm. Wacha wacha akute cotton pad, cotton pad zake hakuna kwa nyumba. Na sasa hiyo sisa yake sababu yeye anatoka office sisa yake ameenda nyumbani. <laughs> Maana huyo mama aliniamkia siku moja. Mm. Akaniambia wewe umekuwa mizi kwa hii nyumba, umetumia pads zangu, akachukua belt ya bwana yake ya ya nini? Inaitwa ya reza ee eh. anataka kumchapa <laughs> ameshika mafuta ya taa na kibuyu ananiambia nitakumwagilia leo ni kuchome haya get my name eh. <laughs> sasa coincidence sababu hapo nasemanga mungu tindi aliniokoa sema bwana yake kubisha mlango eh unexpected akagonga mlango kuingia hivi akasikia mafuta yata inanuka sababu uyo uyo mwanamke alikuwa asha mwaga mwaga mafuta chini ee kunyenisha ata nchoma ee ahu mwingia tu haka mwuzo mwana njeri ni nini naendelea kwa nyumba haka nyenda uyo ni mwizi alafu ujue nini na baa nime toka kwe tu reserve kwe tu yesha hii ni area moja na kwa uyu buwana yake so nilikuwa nimeleto na mother in law ee ali ali sema uyu ni mwizi mwini mletea mwizi uyu ni tachoma leo mwini mwini wacho ni kuambie kenanya nakwambia hapo our husband sindi wanaokuwa na house girls huyo mama alitandikwa vita akauliza unauliza mwanamke mwenzako pad una get eh yeah. ebu niambie saa hivi niko na akili zangu kumi sababu i think i have more than kumi saa hii anifanyie kitendo kama hiyo simba ndiri simba ndiri pisha nina eh so hawa ah, wanawake ndi wanafanya house girl wa mistreat watoto wao sababu hiyo hiyo pressure yote nitapelekea mtoto so if they change then house girl watawalelea watoto vizuri na hakuna cases kama hizo zitasikika okay. have a good evening thank you we what kind of horror stories are these how do you treat your fellow woman like that <laughs>